The cult sci-fi comedy show first aired in 1988 and ran for 13 series Red Dwarf certainly made its mark on British television. And it's returning to our TV screens for a one-off feature-length special to bring some comedy relief in these troubled times. Craig Charles joins us, Chris Barry, Robert Llewellyn, and do we have Danny John Jules as well? We can't find the cat. <laughs> the, ca the cat's gone AWOL. <laughs> Oh, well, welcome the to the... The cat's always late. Is, is he? Ah. Is he? Shows up. It probably won't be him. He, most actors have a stunt double, but he's got an on-time double. <laughs> and so shows up. It probably won't be him. It'll be someone who just looks like him. So, Craig, this doesn't come as any surprise to you whatsoever? Not at all. <laughs> no. I can, I can see that Robert's there, though. Look at Robert. He's so old and decrepit. <laughs> That little old ladies need Robert across roads. Look at him. It's true. It's true. Well, that's a little and Robert, um, on the bus. Robert, I want to talk to you about uh, when you were filming. <laughs> you were actually taken quite seriously ill, weren't you? Yes, I was. I mean, I, I, I just want to really underline the fact that I'm extremely recovered now and I'm extremely grateful mm -hmm. to be recovered now in particular, but also that the, the, I know I don't look it. Thank you, Craig. <laughs> but the, yeah. <laughs> but the, um, but I have to, I just might, because everyone's doing shout outs for the national health staff, of course, rightly, but I, I was so incredibly well looked after uh, in St. Thomas's Hospital in London. They were extraordinary. It, you know, and it's their job, and they're just brilliant at it. We are incredibly blessed to have them. It was this amazing, and I survived. You're, you're spot on. Of course, that's the hospital where um, our Prime Minister is being looked after yes. uh, right now. It wasn't COVID, was it, Robert? You, you had, no. you had no, sepsis, was, was Ex again, extremely sepsis. serious, yeah. It was in uh, November, so it was long before COVID, yeah. 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 Uh, Chris, we got a sense already uh, of the, the, the humour and the enjoyment that the three of you, and certainly uh, Danny, when he eventually turns up, I can't believe he's late and he's only got to come down the stairs from his bedroom. <laughs> uh, we're getting a sense... We don't mind if he does it in his bedroom. We, we're, we're getting the <laughs> sense of, of the, the fun that the four the of you have. Of I've just had to put up with the last 32 years, you know, 33, I think it's 33, actually, since we first started. But, yeah, no, look, Danny, Danny will be here. Right at the end of this whole sequence, Danny will suddenly turn up and say, hi, guys. <laughs> well, look, tell us, tell us a little bit uh, before he does turn up and steal the limelight as ever with the, uh, what, what people can expect from this one-off special. It's a 90-minute special, this on Dave tonight, isn't it, Chris? Um, yeah, 90 minutes. Um, I think it's 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 the story we've, we've all been waiting for, really. Uh, it's um, I don't know how much you know and how much uh, the, the audience know, but uh, yeah, it, it, we we um, we go to to uh, Cat Planet. Um, yeah, you've got to see a clip now. Yeah, keep going, keep talking. We can hear you. Yeah, we we discover uh, something uh, incredible on a on a very dusty, uh, smoky ship called the Iron Star. And uh, that uh, creates all sorts of mayhem for all of us, really, uh, and involves uh, it might me personally trying to uh, uh, cope with several um, extension leads. Um, <laughs> <laughs> on, on the but it's not all about extension leads. You've got to understand that. <laughs> that's, a re that's a relief. <laughs> well, that's, not my, that's my fairly anal kind of plot, really. I think Danny should be here to explain the main thrust of the story because it kind of involves his character. <laughs> Well, um, uh, unfortunately, we'll just have to imagine. He's busy in the bathroom or something <laughs> like that. Oh, Chris, it was your I birthday, wasn't it? Uh, oh, sorry, great. But Chris, it was your birthday, a significant birthday at the end of last month. Of course, all birthday celebrations put on ice right at the moment. Well, yeah, it was uh, it was a uh, it was a nice little uh, birthday at home uh, with the family, but uh, not the uh, the swinging party that I hoped it was going to be to celebrate my um, my thirtieth. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, Craig, you've been doing this as I think, as Chris pointed out, thirty three years. You first all came together. Yeah. I mean, there's Chris something. Chris wasn't even born. No, Chris, Chris, <laughs> Chris was was yet to be born, and he was miraculously <laughs> from another That's... era. That's the magic of sci-fi, isn't it? Uh, he was as a hologram before he was born. I, I guess that you kind of look back at that original meeting when you all came together and looked at the scripts and thought, well, what's this going to be like? And then here we are, 33 years later, still celebrating it with, a, with, a, with, a, with an audience that absolutely adore the characters and, and the whole show. Yeah, the audience have been great over the years. I mean, I think we still go down as the most watch... Uh, sitcom on BBC Two, I think we were getting sort of like 8.99 million viewers in its heyday. 
and um, and the audience have always stayed with us. And I think a lot of it is to do with the writing, obviously. And then there's the chemistry of the cast as well. I mean, there's a very unique chemistry between me, Robert, Chris and Danny uh, that you can't really replace. And, um, and it, they've been a joy to work with all these years. I've known them longer than I've known anyone else in my life. What my parents are dead now. I've known them longer than my wife and my children. So they're the kind of oldest human relationships that I've ever had. Mm. And when we get together, um, it's like we've never been apart. So I always look forward to it. I love a Red Dwarf script landed on the floor because you, you just never know where you're going to end up going because the adventures are just absolutely brilliant. And this one, Promised Land, which goes out tonight on Dave at nine, is just a fantastic story. Uh, Lister, I get to play God. And I went <laughs> home to my wife and kids and said, you're not going to believe it. I'm playing God. And you could have seen them laugh into their dinners. I mean, they <laughs> spat their dinners out. And just just uh, laughed this, at me. Before we let you go, uh, your top tip for getting through lockdown, Craig? Well, I'm lucky at the moment, to be honest, because I'm doing... Um, although the gadget show's been put on hold for a short while, I'm doing drive time on BBC Six Music, so I'm... I'm getting out there and broadcasting between four and seven every day on six. So I'm getting out a bit. My wife and kids are going a bit stare crazy, though. And I think we're starting to find things that we don't really like about each other. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's Danny John Jules, late to the party. <laughs> But yeah, you're good very morning. welcome. Here's the news. Danny, Danny, <laughs> how, how big is... Uh, Danny, <laughs> how big is your house if it's taken you the whole interview to get from your bedroom into your office? Mate, I'll tell you what, I've been on the phone uh, on about four different lines trying to get through while all the messages in London are saying, where are you? <laughs> well, look, we're glad you finally joined us, just so we can say thank you very much for joining us. It's lovely to see you all. <laughs> <laughs> At least... I had to get a cup of tea, didn't I? Oh. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> that's the priority. He needs to get his rider in. Go on, Chris. The birthday greetings, by the way. The others forgot. Oh, yeah. uh, happy birthday, oh, Chris. <laughs> oh, sorry, Chris. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> they really Danny, care, on, honestly. Hey. Chris who? Is Chris Barry out of the house? Chris Barrett. Chris Barrett. <laughs> I'm too pilot. Right, it sounds like you need a conference call to yeah. catch up with each other. You... It's lovely to see.